Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome to another Ray Challenge video. Guys, this one will be a double takeover video. Basically, we're going to be doing Arena and Spider 20 takeover, basically, for uh, completing the missions, you know, farming that gold arena, getting as close to Arbiter as possible, and also building a team for Spider 20, which can uh, honestly sometimes be very tricky depending on what kind of champions you have available. So, I haven't checked anything on this account just yet i'm gonna be doing this takeover with you guys uh looking over whatever i look when i'm doing a takeover in order to understand the power of the account and if we can do uh what is requested so um okay we do have a good great hole here focusing on uh void affinity I, I wouldn't really focus on void personally i would probably go where most of my champions are strongest uh for the clan boss but uh even so just a uh, great hole level seven it's okay, and that's where uh, he really needs some help with. That's why he wanted a uh, an arena takeover. So next up, we're gonna have a look over on Spider. So now with the introduction of Spider 25, it's a bit tricky, but still for players who are having issues with the Spider and uh, want to farm some gear, just going to 20 and, and building a team there is gonna be enough. Honestly, 25 is only for the end game players. Uh, it's a much longer run. It needs very specific champions for a much quicker run. So 20 is the ideal spot uh, to run when you want to farm those five and six star uh, rings, amulets and banners. So uh, let's check out the team on 17. So here's the team, we've got a Drexar. We've got a Duke, we've got an Armiger. We've got the champions that usually make a proper team for uh for spider but on 18 the affinity is magic so the big issue is army gears termiter down having an issue so what i'm thinking without even checking the um the account is probably miscreant monster is not built ideally for his role being a proper carry for uh for spider and since we also have achak here so achak is a really good champion we also got mordecai i think we got enough more than enough uh, to actually take this down so yeah let's build the spider team first uh here's mordecai nothing built just yet on him uh same thing with achak achak is built with a very low amount of speed i would just change that honestly uh the accuracy is okay and honestly i would just try to find some speed boots right here if we have them then we should be at a at a good at a good stage uh honestly i'll just take the boots of drexar for example get that freeze going on the small spiderlings and uh, we do have two cold hearts okay so a track even just changing the boots is fine for now mordecai will be built honestly with speed and accuracy he doesn't really need much else i try to not use many of the resources for this part of the takeover so for so uh for the spider takeover i'll try to use as as few of the resources as possible because everything else will be spent on uh, on the arena part of the takeover we only have about 20 million silver or so so yeah that's gonna be an issue Let's see if I can move some gear around. Um, okay, let me build the team and I'll show you exactly what I'm, I'll be using, guys. So, guys, we changed up the champions a little bit. We'll go through the gear once we finish this. But let, let's go finish 18, 19, and 20. I think, honestly, on 20, we'll just switch out Razin Scar High just to make this closer to 100% win rate. Because Razin is going to be weak affinity. Unlike Mordecai, he... Uh, has a chance to do a weak hit. Mordecai places the HP burn, so he has no chance to do a weak hit. So let's go in there and see how this team works. Um, we rebuilt Miscreated Monster because, as I said, Miscreated Monster just needs a few tweaks and then he becomes like a perfect champion for Spider 20, especially. So we see the HP burn on everybody. Ideally, here, Razin would have done his A2 straight to the boss, but he does, does that only on Spider 20, A2 first. So he did A A3 first. Uh, it still works though, because uh, all the spiderlings down will be taking HP burn damage um, from each other and the big spider as well. So now we should be able to get closer to the end of the of the spider. Crispy spider, right? There we go. Nice big shield protecting that final uh, cold heart. Problem is one of the cold hearts is not fully booked. 
uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. So you might have a little bit delay with their A3s, but the big shield from uh, Miscreant Monster should protect us in the case that the big spider gets a turn. So it should get a turn now. Yeah, we are protected, but I think we will have... We shouldn't have an issue. Okay, we've got some HP burns going. Not, not all of the HP burns that I would like to see. There's a defense down weekend again. There's the hard seeker that I wanted to see. We want to see Miscreant Monsters A2 there. There it is. Uh, basically, lots of protection going on. And then uh, we want to see the final Cold Hearts A3 now. If she has it. No, she doesn't have it. I think it's the left one that has a one cooldown less, I think. There's Razin taking out the Terminator, just helping us out. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer until the HP burns tick. No, there's the Cold Heart to finish things off. There's, uh, so guys, for 19, we're going to be using Achak, the Windering. The reason that I will be using Achak is uh, I want to get some freezes going on the Spiralings. Miscreant Monster is going to be weak affinity, so it's going to cause more issues than than anything else really so here i'm trying to get the freezes going he's not fully booked so this is not 100 percent but still look at all those freezes pretty good right definitely helps us with what we want to do let's get the defense down we can here did get resisted oh that's not gonna be nice so let me exit this and get the uh, get the run going the same thing again we need to see a non-resist so i'm gonna do an a3 here just so we get that terminator down the big spider um, let's get a freeze going. Some freezes there, not on every one of them. Still enough though. Let's get an A2 going. There we go, no resist this time. And I'll do the normal rotation on this one, A2. Razin's next, next move would be the A3, the big A3 here. Let's see that, boom. And we get another A3 there from the Cold Hearts. I rebuilt the Cold Hearts, but just a tiny bit, um, saving the best of the gear for the arena takeover, uh, just to make those teams gold arena viable. Here we're healing for every HP burn going, but shouldn't have that much of an issue. Or are we gonna have it? Just have to see. Uh, will we have a cold heart saving us? It's going to be it. Who's going to take a turn? There we go. Okay, we cleared it. It wasn't the cleanest possible, but a win is a win. I'll take it. So here on 20, we don't want so many weak uh, affinities here. So we'll bring back in the Miscreated Monster. We'll put in there a defense down champion. Um, so who are we going to use? Because um, I'm probably going to be using Madame Ceres for, uh, for Arena. So I'll put in there somebody else that has a defense down. If we've got a Stagnite here, I'll be so happy. But I don't think we'll have a Stagnite here. So we've got a Duke. Okay, now guys, we've built the team for 20. We're going to be using Duke there for the defense down. Uh, we only need him to do the defense down um, after the Cold Hearts do their A2. So I don't care about the Cold Hearts not hitting a defense down target. Don't care about Miscreate Monster not hitting with the defense down because honestly i don't want to be killing the spiralings i just want a nice shield available so look at that nice shield there's the a2 there's the hp burn there's another a2 there's the defense down now that should be available for um cold hearts a3 look at that there's the other cold heart a3 testing it out uh we should start seeing all the hp burns ticking away let's create a monster there with the Evil Eye. Maybe we get some of the Spiralings killed there, but shouldn't be that bad, right? Oof. Okay, we killed some of the Spiralings there. Didn't mean to. Oh, this might take a little bit longer just because of all the dead Spiralings. But it should be a minute for this. For sure. Okay, there's the HP burn. That's what I wanted to see. There we go. Easy win. Honestly, um, that's what you want to see. Ideally, if I had maybe like a defense a defense down champion on a single targeting skill, uh, this would have done... This would have been way cleaner. So way faster as well. So let's check it out again. 
if we get close to 100%, right? We do get the nice big shield. There's A2. HP burn on everybody. A2. There's the defense down. We honestly want it uh, for, uh, for the boss there. And we also want the attack down. So Duke actually helps in both ways. Helps that Mordecai survive a little bit longer. And uh, Mordecai, if he's built a little bit tankier, maybe some resistance, maybe we can make this run a little bit more special. Come on, HP burn sticking. There we go. We just want, oof. A few of the spiralings. There we go. Better, cleaner, 45 seconds. I think this should be like a 100% team without changing anything. Um, I think this is more than enough. So let's go and check out the team. I don't need to uh, to get this. Let's go out and check out the gear uh, of everyone and then we'll do the arena takeover, right? So in terms of Mordecai, I went for a lot of accuracy, but now that I see that I have a bit too much accuracy, I would go uh, maybe for a more defensive setup on his chest plate. Uh, just have him survive a little bit longer. The speed, I don't want to change the speed too much. I want him to be where he is. So ideally, if I find something uh, that gives him some speed, but also some health, uh, then I'll be happy. Uh, that would probably be something like... Uh, something like an immortal chest would be nice for him. Probably do something like this. There's the HP going a little bit higher. And then do something like this shield maybe. Bring in an immortal set. Just to make him a little bit tankier. And it should be the same win ratio uh, as before. This is a 4 star. So Mordecai is now a little bit tankier. He doesn't need all that accuracy. I could go... Uh, without that, uh, that banner could go with a more tanky banner, maybe an HP banner or a defense banner. Uh, but honestly, I don't really mind as long as we don't get resisted. We have the accuracy lead as well. So we get over 300 resistance there. It's a bit too much, but um, it's the minimum gear possible um, without too much, too many changes. Remember, I've got to do an arena takeover as well. So Miscreated Monster, the way that I've changed him is I gave him some speed boots. You want to get close to 200 speed as possible, 100% crit rate, a good amount of accuracy. You want those uh, stands landing when he does get the chance uh, because the chance to land the stands with his A2. 270 accuracy didn't change anything from Masteries uh, or looked over at his skills. So everything is booked which is just fine. Uh, accuracy is a little bit on the heavy side, so we could go for maybe some more speed sets here instead. And then uh, let's go over the cold hearts. The idea with cold hearts is get as much speed as possible, 70% crit rate, as much critical damage while also maintaining high accuracy. That's the, the reason you don't want to get resisted on cold hearts especially. Same thing with the other cold heart, 171 speed, a bit, a little bit slower, but since we are running two cold hearts, it still works. 242 on critical damage, 217 on accuracy, and the masteries I did not even change because I knew this would have worked uh, either way. So this was the build, uh, and I mean Duke the Pierce just needs 100% crit in order for both of his defense down and attack down uh, to land, especially his defense down, that's what you want to see. Landing, we've got a little bit more than needed. He's also strong affinity, inspired 20, but it does work and I'm really happy uh, on how he works in there. So let's start going on with the arena setup. So how will we go on with the arena setup on this classic arena team? Let's go and see uh, his arena setup. So we go bash it there for the lockdown. It's like a mini, mini warlord. Guys, if you haven't seen Basher in action, it's like a mini warlord. Basically, you want to be locking the enemies out uh, with Basher's A2. But Seems we got more than enough champions here in terms of nukers. I think we could build something better here. Um, we do have Saito here, which um, I'm not even sure if he's fully booked. We do have a Royal Huntsman, but the thing with the Royal Huntsman is he does his A3 first on auto and then he does his A2. So, gotta see. Who else can we use as a nuker? I'm really looking at Zergala and thinking, okay, maybe I should go for Zergala. So let me rebuild the team, guys, uh, for, for this account and see what we can do with the champions that are available. Now, guys, for the arena takeover, I'll show you guys the team that I've built. Basically, it revolves around Gorgora being speed tuned with Shirimani, and then all well, is Madame Ceres and the damage dealer being uh, 
um, Zergala. So the thing is, with this kind of team, you just want Gorgrab and Shirimani to be in tune. So enough speed on Gorgrab and Shirimani so that nobody interrupts them. And if that happens, then Shirimani ensures that the enemies will be controlled with her A3, which is Ice Storm. Uh, basically 100% chance to freeze the enemies, all of the enemies, unless it's a weak hit, then they won't be frozen. Fills the Champion's turn by 10% for each attacked enemy, so this is pretty good. She gets another turn. Her A1 actually has a pretty good chance to freeze because a triple hitting attack, uh, if it's just one person remaining, um, it's going to be 15% chance each hit, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, uh, let's go and see this in action. I'll show you guys the gear. Well, actually, I'll show you the gear before, beforehand, and you guys can can guess what kind of damage we'll be doing. So, uh, 283 on the speed on Gorgrab, not so much. Honestly, this is the best I could do with Gorgrab. Um, I could have gone High Katoon instead, but I would prefer the attack up buff from Gorgrab instead of High Katoon's speed up buff. Since we're doing a lockout um, setup, we want Gorgrab to go and basically boost our damage instead of our speed because we don't need so much speed as Haikatoon would provide to the team. So Haikatoon would provide the speed up buff, which is not really required for the setup that I want to do. So that's Gorgorab and uh, here's Zergala with the damage, the best damage gear that I could find on this account. 99% uh, critical rate. I wish I can get this to 100%. 200% uh, critical damage and 4k attack. I couldn't get this higher, guys. Even with the raid optimizer tool from Hell Hades website, just couldn't get this higher. Even so, um, because she is fully maxed out, she is doing some good amount of damage with Helm Smasher in there as well. So if I did get flawless execution, we might have gotten a bit higher crits. And then finally, for um, for uh, Shirimani, I went all out in perception gear, uh, 400 accuracy right there. I could have changed masteries as well and pick up Eagle Eye, that would have given me um, another 50 accuracy, but I just didn't want to change Masteries. He might be using Shirimani for somewhere else. Uh, definitely the speed is required at 256. It's so that uh, both champions are speed tuned. I can't go lower than this. I could go a bit higher to 257 if I wanted to really much, but I don't have the glyphs honestly for 257. I um, mean, I, I could push it here, maybe don't want to be using all the glyphs okay 257 okay that's that's what i wanted to see 257 um in terms of let, let's say a banner um if we get like a six star banner here with speed substat then this will become um even easier for us to achieve uh without only perception sets and then uh finally madame series the same thing with shiriman in terms of uh, trying to get as much accuracy as possible 382 223 on the speed don't really need so much speed on her since we don't need her to be speed tuned, but she needs to be faster than the nuker. So let's go and see what we're going to do against this team. There's only one weak affinity here. That's um, the bombing champion, Lord Shazar. But um, let's see what this, this team does. So there's the freeze. Didn't freeze uh, Sal there. There we go with Zargala. We did get two kills. Ooh, somebody died here. We should get the revive. Can we do anything here? Hmm. This being a tougher team than I thought. We might have an issue here. <laughs> I think if we try this again and actually get the freeze on Sal, uh, this is gonna get this is gonna be a win because we actually didn't get Sal frozen there with 400 accuracy and strong affinity. So there we get the freezes. There's a defense down. There we go. A2 there, Bazar Gala. See, it, it, it was some bad RNG there uh, in terms of getting the nuke that I wanted to see. So it's the same team, but um, getting unlucky with resist always happens. So uh, another team with Lord Shazar there in the lead. Let's go and see what we can do here. Okay, we didn't get a freeze there. Couldn't get Lord Shazar down. Can we actually get them down? We'll just have to see. Oof, we got the stun on us. It's fine. Do we have a heal though? Don't think we've got a heal. So there, like if I did that on manual, I wouldn't have gone on the weak, uh, the strong affinity there with Zargal. I don't know why she did that. 
It was the, the worst target possible. So let's go again. And uh, let me do this on manual this time. Just do the smart decisions. There's all the freezes here that we want to see. Defense down. And now we can actually go A2 here on the weak target or A3 to all of them. I'll just do A2. Look at that. Double burst, burst there. Get a kill there. And then to close it off, I'll just put this on auto. See? Um, pretty easy way to clear them out. It's just that bad RNG can happen and bad AI also happens. So again, we boost. Let's freeze. Defense down. And then we can even either do A2 or A3. So I'll do A3 here. We got some good amount of burst. Can we freeze? There we go. And then to clear it off, just do an A2. Easy win again. And we sh this team should be able to, to tackle um, even higher, uh, higher difficulties, even possibly go back to gold. Uh, gold arena let's see how much faster we are so here uh, we won't be able to freeze them unfortunately because of all the buffs so we will be able to remove everything here though almost everything uh can we get some kills going here we go a3 can we get the freezes here there it is Let's do an A2 here. And then we should be able to just clear with uh, Zargala when she gets a turn. Boom. There it is. So easy, easy win if you do it on manual because some of these fights, you can't just go in there on auto. Um, this one looks a way easier fight uh, to let this go on auto. What about that? Easy win. What about this one? Let's see who's faster. We are faster. We froze. Defense down. A2 there, 115k. Look at that, with 200% critical damage. So Zargala is way better than uh, the Royal Huntsman that we had available. So I did try to gear Royal Huntsman in the beginning, but honestly, um, he was using uh, his A3, and even his A2 wasn't such a big of a nuke that I was expecting. So I thought like, okay, we should go Zargala. Um, I think she's a way better nuker. I love that she has that strong A2 um, that she does. So boom, look at that, A2. She didn't do her A3. Wow, it's the first time I see that happening. Um, I'm gonna check the recording for that one because I'm a bit curious on, on why that happened. So, is this Mashalt gonna solo us? Probably. <laughs> this champion is so stupid, Mashalt. Let's try this one, a bit tankier team. See how this goes. Freeze, freezing everybody. Defense down, boom, A2 there. A3, it's like an automatic hit. That's why Zargala is so cool. Um, when her A2 lands a killing blow, she immediately does her A3 as well. So it's it's a pretty good combo to lead to lead with. Okay, we've got a revive. There we go. Back to silver four. I swear I don't want to be hitting spirit champions. It's just it's so stupid. Easier team, right? There's a defense down. Boom, A2. Follow up with A3. Easy clear, right? So, uh, I think this was uh, this was the takeover, guys. We did an arena takeover and a uh, Spider-20 takeover. The arena takeover did take more uh, in terms of re-gearing than, of course, the Spider. But both were done. Uh, taking this account a step further into getting Arbiter and uh, just having a better account overall. So... This was the video guys if you are ever interested in account takeover send me a message over on discord i do these kind of services all the time helping people out improve their own accounts 
a little bit faster than them just watching a ton of videos and and being lost with all the information that might be out there uh, available for um newer players mid game players or even uh later end game players so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one see ya